Today we're gonna check out this Jackson Randy Rhodes X Series V. What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and uh, today I thought I'd get out the Jackson V. I've had this thing for a while now. All right, the box showed up today. What's inside this box? Let's find out here. But uh, it showed up early. I'm really surprised this box didn't just like open up in transit. All right, and Jesus. All right. Pretty sick, dude. Look at this thing, man. I mean, doesn't this just look like the kind of guitar that you want to write riffs on? <laughs> uh, the frets look level. This thing actually looks like it's set up pretty well, too. No sharp, pointy edges. Wouldn't expect any, but uh, you know, it's just nice that there aren't any. And I don't play this guitar as much as I should. And uh, it doesn't really have anything to do with this guitar because look at it, man, it looks badass. You know, reverse headstock, everything. Uh, let's read the specs on it here real quick. The Jackson RRX24 features a poplar body, one piece through body maple neck with graphite reinforcement at the scarf joint and a bound 12 to 16 inch compound radius laurel fingerboard with 24 jumbo frets and reverse Jackson pointed six inline headstock. We also have a pair of Seymour Duncan blackouts, a Floyd Rose special bridge, two volume knobs and a tone knob and a five way blade switch. Okay, so there's not a ton of crazy features with this guitar the poplar body and the maple neck make it like super lightweight that might be a downside for you because it is really easy to dent this wood um it's definitely something to take into consideration if you're thinking about buying one of these guitars to like play shows with because it's super light and uh it will invariably get chipped and ding like i don't know if you can see in this camera here but i have a ding right here and that's just from using an allen wrench and it slipped and hit the body, like that's how soft it is. But I'm gonna demo this thing for you through my Randall Satan here. I just figured that was a good amplifier to demo a V through, you know? So the Seymour Duncan blackout pickups, active pickups, very hot, very hard to get the feedback under control. In my experience, that's something to take into consideration uh, when getting this guitar because it comes with the Seymour Duncan blackouts, not like, you know, the Jackson branded passive pickups or EMGs or something like that. It comes with these hotter Seymour Duncan pickups. Here, let me show you them on the clean channel and then we'll go back to some high gain stuff. So this is the bridge pickup. Neck pickup. Both. And then you do have independent volume controls too, so if you want to do some weird like Tom Morello thing. I mean, I think that's the only cool thing about having independent volume controls, because I have a switch too, like why do I need independent volume controls, right? But, you know, if you're Tom Morello, there you go, this guitar is for you. Let's go back to the high gain channel here on the bridge pickup. This guitar is tuned to E flat right now. I always get the question, what tuning I'm in. There you go. We're gonna use this mud killer.
So I have a noise gate on. I mean, even though the amp itself is very noisy, um, but you, like you can hear without this noise gate, you get feedback and I'm not playing very loud right now. And uh, you know, even like the mud killer, even if we turn off the mud killer, like if I turn up to stage volume right now, it just starts feeding back very, very quickly. And I know I'm sitting right next to this amplifier, but I use blackouts live for a long time. And it was always an issue that I dealt with no matter what the stage was or how far away I was from my amp. They are just very, very hot pickups. You might need an extra noise gate to get that under control. Maybe that's not a deal breaker for some of you. Maybe it is, I don't know, but it's worth mentioning. But what I really do enjoy about the Seymour Duncan Blackouts is they're very dynamic and uh, they're very articulate. Like they have good note separation. You can hear all the notes in your chord ring out really well with them. cool guitar. I think it's a really shreddy guitar. I think it's a very inspiring guitar, especially for me being a metal guy with the reverse headstock and everything. I think this is just a very nice detail. This guitar definitely inspires me to write riffs. But on the downside, I would say that uh, if you need something that's a little bit sturdier than this, this being poplar uh, with the maple neck, it is really nice and light, which is cool, especially on your shoulder being up on stage, you know, for 40 minutes at a time or whatever. But uh, you gotta be very, very careful with it because it will ding and dent and chip very, very easily. And if you're not a fan of blackouts, uh, that might be a downside for you. Although you could just swap them out. You know, you can pull these things out and put in EMGs or bare knuckles or whatever you like. I think it's a shredder, dude. It's a guitar I really like a lot. It's very metal. All right, thank you guys for being here with me. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like what I do here on my channel, consider subscribing or joining my patrons and members, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.